Okay, they're coming down now. Now, we want the 25 drivers to their boats because I think you boys and uh, girls are up next. So, 25 drivers to your boats for the next one. But, uh, PC, you're the hard to play man. Why don't you bring them down to the start? All yeah, right, and also a big shout out to Brad in the HBR who's just had a baby as well. So, it's all yes. family and uh, looking forward to the young one getting into juniors very soon. So, a couple of years ago. But a good line up here. It looks like Dewey is on the inside. Jasmine out of two. Brad and HBR out of three. Three. Uh, Frogger squeezing in there in four and Harrow running the real wide line in the Melton Tour out of 86 out of pole number five. Really good line up here as they go. Frogger's down, Bishow on a nice even start as they come down. It is Harrow on the outside dancing. Brady holding up the middle but Jasmine, she carries a heap of split, split in the corner. As they go through a big wall of water as they say. It's Brad making up ground on the ground in the Melton Tour out of 86. Jasmine sneaks up on Dewey. Frogger's on the outside in fourth position. But up the back straight now, they're hammering away. It is Grant Harrison and Milton Toyota, 86. Followed by Brad Holland in the HBR. And uh, it is Jasmine showing a good leg of speed down the back straight into third, Bishop. Wow, we Harrow's in a race today, PC, but Bradley Hollands, he's having none of that. He pushes him a little bit wide and runs with him, maintains the momentum. That's a two uh, shovel nose boats holding their own as well. Jazzy Frankovic into third place at the moment. Dewey Nichols into fourth. Norris looks like he's a little bit off the pace at the moment with that new engine in that boat. So hopefully they can get some tune into that boat and get them going. In fact, unfortunately for him, he stops out there, PC, but. It's a ding-dong battle at the front of the pack here, PC. Yeah, but it's got good corner speed. Harrow runs a bit wider and sees that a bit more acceleration. Bad luck for Froggy. We must have put the muzzle on him uh, beforehand, but uh, hopefully nothing too bad as he comes down and it's Harrow leads the way. As I said, the big turn thing goes up. Really spectacular. It's just mounted off the left-hand side. Bad Holland seems to be making up some really good corner speed. Seems to be there. Jazzy up into third position and Dewey up into fourth. But it is Grant Harrison coming through with one lap to go in the belt at 86. Closely followed by Brad Holland in the 05 HBR racing machine. Okay, so for the final time they go around turn number one. Holland just can't quite make the pace of the 86 at the moment. So Harrison out in front. Back to Holland. Then it's Frankovic, then it's Nichols. And they are charging hard at the back straight away. Harrison looks like he's got it all his own way at the moment. The uh, caution flag out now for Froggy Norris. Unfortunately, the uh, times a tough boat has come to a halt. At, uh, the checkered flag comes out and it's going to be Grant Harrison all the way in the Toyota 86 Melton Motor Group as he takes a strong win in that particular boat. Storming run for him and he had a real go. Good run there for Brad Hollands as well in the HBR, the 05. And the Battle of the Shovel Noses continues on. And it's going to be the 21-year-old Jazzy Frankovic into third place. And running out the field into fourth spot will be the great man, Dewey Nichols, into third place in the S, into fourth place, I should say, in the S15. So that rounds out our 1.6 litre hydroplanes. Hopefully uh, the Norwich guys can get uh, the little orange machine sorted out before the next heat. And uh, we'll see some great racing from these 1.6s all weekend. But gee, Grant Harrison certainly here to race this weekend. There was absolutely no holds barred with that one. He knew he had Brad Hollands pushing hard on his inside. And uh, he got that done. But uh, certainly with plenty of pressure applied from young...